I began writing and speaking about autism because I wanted the folks of your generation to grow up without those feelings of shame like I grew up with. And, um, and that led me ultimately to where I am today, to write books and, and speak and, and ultimately travel the world as an advocate for autism. But you know, there's a fundamental problem with these words, autism, ADHD, dyslexia. And that is, they are medical definitions for things that are wrong with us. Not one of you, when you heard about your dyslexia, ADHD, autism, not one of you would have cause to celebrate because you learned about it after a series of failures in school. It's humiliating and it's painful. And that stigma follows you here just as it followed me. But it doesn't have to be. The fact is, I wrote a story in Psychology Today seven years ago called What is Neurodiversity? And in that story, I presented the idea that neurological difference is a natural part of human diversity, just as some of you are tall, some are short, some of you have light skin, some of you have dark skin, some of you are really emotional, some of you are really logical, some of you are really brilliant at mathematics, some of you have extraordinary memories, some of you are good at one thing or another, all of you are good at something. And that diversity of ability and, and, and traits and exceptionality that is all a natural part of humanity. And, and autism, ADHD, dyslexia, they're all part of that. And there's a fundamental problem with describing those things exclusively in the context of disability. I didn't understand that when I published that article, but I certainly understand it now. Today, I recognize that neurodiversity is not just a description like I gave you. Neurodiversity is people. Neurodiversity is me. It's my wife, my kids, it's my parents. Neurodiversity is all of you. And who is going to take charge of how we talk about neurodiversity? It's us folks. Neurodiversity is our word that is the answer to what other people have called us. So when people say to you, you have ADHD and you can't do this, you have autism and you can't do that, I say those things are all part of neurodiversity. You, 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 and me, we are neurodivergent individuals. Neurodiversity is our word for what we are and our word is not a word of disability. Our word is a word of empowerment. You've heard, you've heard that you're all welcome here. You've heard about how people see disability. You may know that this school was founded by a person with disability, with dyslexia, to help students with learning disabilities. Yeah. Now hearing that, you might think, well that's great, that's a wonderful thing. Anyone with a disability would want to help other people with the same disability. Of course we would. But when we say it that way, we internalize the marginalization of us. We say we are disabled people. We are not. We are neurodivergent people. And it's time for us to move. Yeah. It's time for us to move from all these individual diagnostic labels that all of you have to say that we are one thing. We are a tribe of neurodivergent people. And we are not going to say, I have autism, I have ADHD, because saying I have it is like saying, I have pneumonia, and boy, I don't want to have pneumonia. <laughs> Neurodiversity is what we are. And, and, I, and I want you to think about this. Every civil rights movement 
in recent history has started with the affected populations. Think about African American civil rights, women's rights, LGBT rights, rights of religious freedom, all of those things, of course, centered around those people. But who pushed it forward? It was passionate college students, folks like you, because you are the ones that have the freedom to study and learn to develop your ideas and values in a safe place. And you have come to the one college in America for neurodivergent people. All of us are neurodivergent here. Many of the faculty and in, in all of you and in many of your parents. And what I hope is that you will think about this and you will take these values of neurodiversity and you will go out in the world and kick ass and take names. And you will say, we are not going to be marginalized anymore. We are not separate from people. We are going to stand tall. And we're going to be proud of all the stuff we can do. But we're not going to talk about disability. Disability is part of life for us, sure. But disability is part of everyone. We're going to talk about our exceptionality. And our disability is simply the trade-off society makes for having exceptional people like us in the world. There's no free ride here. And you are going to 